what's going on everybody um i want to do a vlog and i like to title this one the elephant in the room i want to talk about the situation where i normally do sports vlogs on sundays i started last week but i felt like it would have been inappropriate today to do a sports vlog so i would like to talk about the incident in charlottesville um the reason why i call this the elephant in the room because the elephant to me is racism um, I don't condone racism. I don't believe in hating people. I believe we should love people despite their ethnicity, whether they're male or female, whatever their preference is or whatever it is about the person, whether we agree with them or not, we should still show them love and respect. However, unfortunately, I do realize that there are people out there who think the opposite. There are people out there who are evil, who are sick, and they could care less about anybody but themselves or those that's connected to them i just want to say this real quickly for everybody man for those of us that aren't racist we got to pull together don't matter if you're black white asian hispanic or whatever we've got to pull together and we got to show more love rioting and protesting is not going to change anything it's going to make matters worse if we pull together we stand up we make changes in these communities then we will begin to see changes over time. But as long as we continue to fight against each other, as long as we continue to make this a white versus black thing, and unfortunately it is like that. But for those of us that isn't like that, we can make a difference. We can make a change. I'm not saying compromise your beliefs. I'm not saying compromise what you stand for. But if we pull together, if we work together, changes can happen. I know racism is a scary thing because I came across a, a form of racism that I never thought I would face. I remember I was with my wife and we were going to this bank in Pocosin and I was just sitting down. I just got off work. I was tired and it was an older white couple that was in the line um, getting help. And the lady told the man to go have a seat. Mind you, the bank was not really packed for it. It was empty. I was sitting down. I was in my work clothes. The man looks over at me. His face turned red bloodshot red and it hit me like wait a minute i hope this dude ain't what i think it is but unfortunately he was racist i could tell when i got up and left he went over to that same spot i never did anything to the man don't know the man i pray he's okay but i this man don't know me just like i don't know him and it was an older gentleman i could tell he came from probably the 60s he grew up in the 60s maybe i don't know but i said all this to say this We've got to do better. We can't say we love people, but we only love certain people. We can't say that we love, or for me, for instance, I use that I'm a Christian. As Christians, we can't say we love God, but we hate each other. So whatever you believe, if you talk to love and respect people, we got to do that. We can't keep saying we want change. We demand change, but you're doing it through hate. You're doing it through violence. That's not going to solve anything. Again, I don't agree with the protests. I don't agree with the racism. But for those of us that aren't like that, if we're going to deal with this elephant in the room, racism or hatred or whatever, we got to face the bully head on. How we do it? Do the opposite. Instead of fighting, work together. Show more love. When you do that, it'll cause a whole revolution. Next thing you know, people around you will catch on. And it will spread like a wildfire. So does racism exist? Yes, it does. Unfortunately, it does. But with time and working together and not being in denial about it, recognizing that it exists, we can make changes. But there is an elephant in the room and it is racism. Can it be defeated? Yes, it takes time. But it's going to have to take time, love and us working together. So. With that being said, let's keep our country in prayer. Let's keep other countries in prayer. Keep your communities in prayer. Be aware of what's going on. Don't be naive. Don't be deceived. There is an elephant in the room, and it's not hiding itself this time. It's very, very obvious. We can make a difference. Let's pull together, y'all. Videos will be up next week, back as usual. Y'all take it easy. God bless.